and how he matches up with Donald Trump. This was just a couple of months ago. Listen. What do you think is better for the country, Trump or Biden? Trump. 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 I say Trump. Why do you say that? He's a businessman. He's going to think business. And Biden is a racist. No wars, great policies, best years in the stock market. What do you think is done more for the black community, Trump or Biden? I didn't even see Biden yet. I know Trump was out of Biden, that's <laughs> everything. Biden ain't doing We gonna get rid of his sweet well, I don't get the sense that those Chicago voters will be excited that Joe Biden's visiting their great city today. Do you agree with those sentiments you just heard, Kata? I do agree with those sentiments. And, you know, we're not really excited about Biden coming to Chicago. We know that he is coming here for a fundraiser. But I know that it is on the top of my mayor's uh, agenda to ask uh, the Biden administration to... Uh, allow there to be a release of work visas for the migrants. I also know that he is looking for more funding um, from the federal government to help support and house migrants, even though he was recently heard saying that there is enough here in Chicago to support them. Interesting. Uh, I think that you would probably disagree with a lot of that. So instead of coming to your city to raise money for himself, what would you rather see President Biden do with regard to your money, your financial situation, the issues that matter to you? I would rather see him come here to talk about the state of the economy, the fact that everything is higher, groceries is higher, gas is higher, the interest rates are higher. I need Biden to talk about those things, those things that affect everyday Americans. That's what we want to hear him talk about. The fact that the unemployment rate among blacks here in the city of Chicago is at its highest. Those are things that we want to hear discussed here then, in Chicago. Yeah, and then have him take action on them, not just talk about them. Uh, finally to you, Daniel, this Wall Street Journal poll showing President Biden and former President Trump tied in Wisconsin at 46 percent. No matter the poll, Wisconsin is basically a toss-up between Biden and Trump. So what's the main issue in your state that you think is going to tip the balance between one of those two candidates? I think it's got to be inflation and how how is uh, President Biden and or uh, uh, former President Trump going to address the inflation issues that are really hitting a lot of families um, here very hard, especially small businesses. Um, you know, recently, my wife actually had to close a fitness studio that uh, she owned after six years because of rent prices going up so high and because her clients just didn't have at the disposable income necessary in order to, you know, continue their health and fitness journey. And, uh, and you know, we really have to find ways to address this. And, uh, you know, we're, look, we're looking to the candidates to uh, present their plan. I think that's going to be a, a big uh, swing opportunity in this state. Understood. Just because inflation, quote unquote, is coming down by some economic metrics, you're not feeling it at the grocery store. And so people like your wife and her business were impacted. Daniel and Kata, got to leave it there. Thank you for your time this morning. Have a great week. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it.